So for today, we're going to be looking at Caliban's hand. If you guys don't know, this did get asked for not too long ago. Don't worry, all the other exotics are going to be coming out this week. So don't worry if you ask for an exotic and you're like, hey, I asked for this one first before Caliban's hand. I'm doing it in the order of classes. So I'm going to finish up with the hunters. Then we're going to go with the titans. I no, wait. I think I think warlock first because I got to do the um, one of the exotics. Someone asked more. And then after that, we'll do titans because titans have like two or three, if I remember correctly. Either way, your exotic video should be coming out. If you have commented one before in an earlier video, then just be patient with me because, again, I am doing a lot of exotics. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification to keep up to date with my current content because I do think the content that I push out is worth watching considering I do a bunch of fashion. So let me know what you guys think. Other than that, Caliban's hand. Let's actually see what it does. So roast them. Your proximity knife scorches targets, it damages with its explosions or ignites targets on final blow. After throwing a proximity knife, you gain increased melee regeneration until the knife explodes. So this is legitimately one of my favorite exotics. I have loved this since it got introduced in, which was it, Season of the Haunted, I think. And I've loved it ever since. It's one of my favorite exotics. The only thing I kind of get annoyed about is I wish the, or I wish the Rostam uh, perk also made it so that way proximity knives don't damage the user because i can't tell you how many times i've killed myself with it that being said i still love this exotic it's a lot of fun very much trash like heavy exotic so that and i'm not saying it's trash more so it's specifically for trash mobs like you're not going to be killing crazy things with this but at the same time it's still a lot of fun when you get that one enemy hit them in the head they, they explode and then you just wait and then just everything explodes so definitely one of my favorite exotics in the game for hunters, specifically for solar. But let me know what you guys think about it. As for how it actually looks, I kind of hate it. Um, so the base look of it is really cool. I know some people are immediately going to be like, you hate it because it's asymmetrical, which is not. It's not wrong. I do not like that. It's like three blades and two of them are on one side and one on, is on the other. I definitely would like four blades on each side or two blades, I should say. But the other problem is it shaders really, really terribly. Let's actually look at how it shaders. So for me, my biggest issue with it is just the fact that like in Ancient Wisdom, you guys will see that green. And yeah, so basically it's like a burnt color type thing, which is very unfortunate because it looks pretty fucking terrible. Like it, there's no saving it. Like with Echoed Anger, it looks weird considering the red is really cool. And then you see that silver and it's just like, what the fuck, bro? Uh, Vicenine Gold looks okay with it. Cryptic Insignia looks pretty trash with it. The only thing I don't re remember you trying is if it looks good with armor that combines everything into one cohesive color. That being said, this armor, specifically the like charred color part, is actually like a like a like a texture. So even if you can combine all of it into one color, it would still know you would still notice that like charred texture, which is very unfortunate. As for the example set. Um, this is dope. Uh, I'm not gonna like I'm gonna be real with you guys. This one is one of my favorite looks that I've made and I've made quite a few sets But this one I think is like just the epitome of solar Hunter the only unfortunate part and I will say this is I think solstice close resplendent the resplendent version of this cloak is Absolute trash and we'll get to that when we get to that but for the helmet virtuous mask for the chest piece Imperian Cartographer Vest, for the Boots, Sun Apex Strides, and then for the Mark, the Solstice Cloak. So let me explain why I absolutely hate this, uh, specifically the cloak. It's because of the blue. Some of you have made of, may have noticed that already, but everything's red, orange, black, and then you get to the back, it's blue. And I absolutely hate that. Whoever designed that part, when it's just like, this is going to be blue forever, I kind of hate you. But overall, this set looks amazing. For the shadering, Carminica on everything except the cloak. The cloak is actually going to be Amethyst Veil because I do like the sheen that it gives off to the actual cloak. Because, yeah, I just wanted something super dark and that's kind of where my head went so let me know what you guys think about this set as for the ornament that it got last season for season of the witch we got nucleosynthetic sheath which i think looks amazing symmetrical which you'd love to see and overall very sleek very uh, like technological type thing the only thing i'm not a big fan of is the fact that like that glowy orange bit does not change colors it's actually you get to the shadering so you guys can notice it so unfortunately the shadering for ancient wisdom 
is not that orange. It's a it's more of like a green. So you guys will notice that unfortunately that just doesn't change color, which is very, very unfortunate because if it did change color, I think this would have been amazing. So this is where it gets annoying because at this point, you're probably just going to want to combine it with other shaders that have like an orange glow. So that way it doesn't like look weird. Uh, Abyssinian Gold's a good one. Abyssinian Gold, you will get that orange. Just for me, I don't like Abyssinian Gold, specifically the like brown plating. Never been a big fan of it. But overall, I like I said, it takes shaders really, really well until you get to that orange glow and then you're just like, well, this sucks donkey dick. As for the example set, I ended up going for something close to that orange color enough to where it's not like distracting, but I can definitely tell. So for the shadering golden trace for everything, just because I was trying to combine it with sp like pieces to make it look like uh, one of the enemies from Death Stranding. And I was like, I don't want to do that anymore, but I still chose the gold just because I liked the fact that it was close enough to the gauntlets. So Mask of the Anointed for that little glow on the side. Veritas Vest with Thunder Head Strides, I think is a great combination. And then Psionic Stalker Cloak because I am going for like a, a techno assassin feel, I guess the closest thing would be, which looks really, really cool. And yeah, I definitely think this one is amazing as well. If you don't like the gold, you can definitely change it for other things. Or if you want to make it pure black, good luck because the nucleosynthetic sheath has that gold, which I would immediately just got, get annoyed with all the an all black look because again, it's everything's going to be black except those arms. So let me know what you guys think. This one was a little bit faster than the other one, specifically the six coyote, but that one I had a little bit more to talk about this one very straight to the point i love both the default look and the new ornament for it just because both of them look really cool i do have my issues with it but let me know what you guys think in the comments below again i have a lot of content for you guys but be safe i will see you guys later